Hey Miracons, I'm gonna be in New York for the next week. It is so amazing here. Yesterday was my first day. I had so much fun, even though it rained really badly in the morning. Before coming here, I have been binge watching Gossip Girl. I had never watched it before, but I know that it's set in New York and I absolutely love it. So I really wanted to make a video based on Gossip Girl and obviously a really big part of it is the fashion. Like the outfits of Blair Waldorf and Serena are literally, I absolutely love them. I've been getting so much fashion inspo. So I'm gonna be trying to dress up every day as one of the characters from the series. But first of all, can I just show you guys? This is the view from our hotel room. I just did my makeup, but I'm really annoyed because I've ended up getting these like spidey lashes because I was gonna put on my mascara primer and I don't know how this happened. I didn't use this yesterday, I wore fake lashes. And it's never gone like this before. There's so much mascara like clumpy. And I wonder if that's happened because of traveling, like it's gone around in my bag, maybe like the temperature change. Or someone's gone to touch my mascara. Sienna, did you touch my mascara? No. So for my first outfit, I'm actually gonna be going for one of the classic uniform looks and I'm gonna be recreating Blair Waldorf school uniform. What I love about this series is that they have school uniform, but it's not really like proper school uniform like what we have in the UK. I know obviously in a public school or whatever in America, I think they can just wear whatever they want. But it seems like in this private school that they go to, they do have to wear a uniform, but they can kind of make it their own. Blair Waldorf's kind of varies every day, but there is like a basic basic aspect to it. So I am gonna be recreating this picture. So I got this little navy like mini skirt, which I feel like is very Blair Waldorf. So I've got this bodysuit on, but this is actually just for warmth. And I'm actually gonna be wearing, this skirt is like something that I probably would wear, but this shirt is not something that I would ever wear. It's very like frill, it's got a lot going on. And when I saw this online, I was just like, this is so Blair Waldorf. Like she's always wearing shirts with like details and very extra in like a crappy way, which I do really love her style. It's so iconic. I feel like she probably wears it tucked in. This is what the shirt looks like on. I feel a bit like pirate. I haven't even got contact lenses in right now, so I can't even really see myself probably. I need to put them in. I wanna actually be able to see New York while I'm here. This is the bit which I'm really dubious about, and I just feel like I'm gonna look a bit stupid. I feel like I'm probably gonna look like a Walmart version of her. Um, I'm gonna add this little bow. There we go. So I've now added socks. I've got little navy bows as well, which I feel like ties in the bows. So now I need to decide on shoes. I've got two options. So I've got these pink pumps, which are actually mine. And then these ones are Sienna's. Is it right if I borrow them? Of Luckily, we're actually kind of like very similar sizes. So I can probably get away with wearing these. I feel like these are probably gonna look better. By the way, guys, when she says we're similar sizes, you might think she's a bit bigger than me. I'm smaller than her. No, it's the other way around. <laughs> Her feet are slowly becoming bigger than mine, so I need to take advantage of it while we can still share shoes. Which shoes? What kind of bag are you wearing? Like, is your bag pink? Uh, no. Definitely the brown shoes. The outfit's nice apart from the bow tie. I still think the bow tie looks ridiculous. Yeah, well, my hair does look pretty ridiculous right now, but I, I do agree. I feel a bit stupid. I would never, ever wear this. I'm actually really happy with how my hair came out in the hair rollers. I do feel like it is giving Blair Waldorf vibes. I know she styles her hair a bit different during the series, but I feel like her go-to look is definitely like her hair like straight with volume or like a little bit bouncy waves. But something she basically always has, her iconic headband. She is never seen without a hairband. If she doesn't have a hairband, she's not Blair Waldorf. I feel like my hair color at the moment is literally perfect for this challenge because obviously Serena's blonde and Blair's more like a dark brunette and I'm literally like kind of in the middle so I can pass as both. I'm now out and about in my Gossip Girl way, Blair outfit. outfit too. I Sienna like got kind of inspo too. Yeah. We're gonna be getting a pastry for breakfast but Sienna can't yeah. work out how to reach it. No, I mean, I probably can reach it, but I don't want it to like fall out my hand or something. And then, like, <laughs> Do you want me to help you? <laughs> I think you have to put it in the bag. New York style. I also got a chai latte to start off my day. Mm. Can we just say how this looks like a dog pee bag? So we just went into a little mall and it has one of these revolving doors to get in and out of it just feels so like special going yeah. into the mall, go through that special door. Anyway, so what we're gonna be doing today is actually going around and trying to discover all of the locations where Gossip Girl was filmed. So we're gonna be going off to the first one, which is actually like an hour's walk away. So we're gonna try and get a cab. We have a never gotten a cab. Yay! Obviously we live in London, so there's lots of cabs there, but I feel like the cab experience in New York is even more iconic. Yeah. Hopefully this goes well. They like flag them down and then like run and jump in them. 
I don't know, do we just go up to one and say where we want to go? I don't, don't know. know. So luckily they have the taxis parked outside the mall so we don't have to try and flag one down. But look, they even have the iconic ad on the top. That's not just in films, that's in real life. Hi. Is this what you thought the inside of a New York cab was going to look like? Um, I didn't really think of like. <laughs> That's that face. Much. <laughs> Me neither, but it's very interesting. Look, yeah, we've a got TV. a TV. <laughs> That's actually quite cool. I never imagined it having. Me a TV neither. Inside. This is very different. Thank you. Bye. Mum and Sienna haven't watched Gossip Girl, but I have. So this is actually the school, and this is what they use as a set. It's actually a museum, but it's actually really weird seeing it in real life because I recognise it all. From the series. Wow! Is wow! That, is that like a type of school? Do no. I look like I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> you put your gossip girl outfit on. <laughs> Come over here. I act, this is really weird because I recognise it all, but this is actually really trippy seeing it in real life. And that's like all the arches where everyone hangs out oh, before right. school. Should we pretend we're on gossip girl? Come and see her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, who does she think she is? Have you seen her penny loafers? They're so last season. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god. We need to like open up our flip phone. The next location on our tour is actually where Blair Waldorf lives. So that is at 1136 Fifth Street. I'm pretty sure that's how you say like the addresses. I don't know. In England, we don't have addresses which sound like that. But anyways, we were all trying to take a selfie outside and then one of the guys working in there actually came out and helped us take the selfie, which was so cute. It's a bit ironic though. Well, I don't know if ironic is the right word, but it's under construction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I was then going to say. It looks like the door there behind me looks glam, but the rest of it uh, I'm Expectation versus reality. I feel like a building is really beautiful, look. I know, yeah. Mia Corns, do you recognise where we are? We are on the iconic steps where Gossip Girl always eats her lunch and her yoghurt. <laughs> she eats yoghurt for lunch. Yeah. This is really weird to be here in real life again. Yeah. It's like if you see like someone famous in real life, if you are ever experienced that. That feeling is how I feel with these locations. Which yeah. is really weird because like I never thought I'd feel that about some steps. But I'm feeling that yeah. right now. I guess it's like if you, when I saw the Eiffel Tower for the first time, that was like really weird because you've seen it so many times, yeah. you feel like you completely know it. But then to see it in real life, it's just really trippy. <laughs> Hello. And the next spot, we are at the fountain where yep. Blair and Serena, after the photo shoot fiasco of all the modeling, the mix up, they come here and they take that iconic photo. So me and Sienna tried to recreate it. Yeah. It's actually really hard to balance and do that though. But this spot is so cool. Like, I just need to show you the area, like the perimeter. Not just this fountain, it's pretty, but look. All of these big buildings, and it looks so pretty. I thought Sienna was gonna be there, she was all there, if that scared me. And I'm pretty sure we reckon that that hotel in front of us, this one is the hotel from Home Alone. Yeah, yeah. I recognize it. Instagram picked, ready, Sienna? Amazing. It's literally so cool to come in. Like, it's always been my dream to go to New York. Luckily, there's no actual water in the fountain, so even if you did fall in, you wouldn't get wet. Good morning, Miracles. It's now day two of my challenge, except I'm currently trying to do my makeup, but obviously. Obviously, it's still dark outside because it's like half five. Actually, it's half six. So it's not even that early, but like, I feel like this has came out awfully. I tried to do heavier makeup because today I'm gonna be Serena and I feel like she does tend to wear a bit more heavier makeup, but this looks awful and I can't really see how it looks in real life because I don't have any good lighting. I'm so stressed right now. I don't know what to do. Should I just start a game with my eye makeup? Like this looks so bad. I think I've managed to fix my makeup. Hopefully it doesn't look really bad when the sun finally rises. So last night I put my hair in braids because I feel like Serena literally always has her hair in waves sort of crazy and a bit messily. I absolutely love her hair. I feel like it's such vibes that she like just has her hair like basically wild all the time, but it looks stylish. Like I don't know how she pulls that off. I just did my hair in like full braids. So hopefully I can have some waves today. I'm actually really stressed this morning because for some reason I can't actually get my camera to charge. So I think I'm actually gonna get it to charge for like 10 minutes. Hopefully that gives me enough battery to film today. I'm gonna be recreating the first outfit because I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, the first person we ever see in Gossip Girl is Serena. So we are gonna be copying her first outfit in the Central Station. And I'm pretty sure we're actually going to be going to Central Station today. So I'm super excited to see it in real life. So I'm starting off with some boots. So hopefully have a bit more warmth today because yesterday was quite cold. And I'm gonna be wearing them over the top of these jeans. Now, I do love the style in Gossip Girl, but I can tell like, you know, it's from the early 2000s. So this style of jeans is not something I would ever really wear, but it's, I think I'm gonna like it because it's gonna be tucked into jeans. 
the jeans are gonna be tucked into boots, which is not something I've ever tried, especially like with these boots or just in general. I've never worn boots over my jeans, but we're gonna be trying it today and hopefully I feel like Serena. Obviously she wears a stripy jumper, so I'm also gonna be wearing this. This is the outfit so far with the boots and the jeans. I actually kind of like it. I did not think I was gonna like it all. I thought that I was gonna feel really stupid, but I kind of feel, you know, like put together. And in the last couple of days, I've been looking at everyone's outfits because it's really cool to like look at people's outfits in different countries, especially in New York. It's like, I feel like the fashion's kind of iconic. And I have noticed people wearing jeans in boots. Really? Yeah, I, I noticed really it because I knew I was gonna be wearing this outfit and I noticed, I've noticed some girls doing it. So I'm excited. Of course my outfit is nowhere near done yet. So she obviously has her like, camel colored leather jacket. So obviously this was not real leather. Um, I just got this off ASOS and I actually really like it. It's not something yeah, I would it's ever, cool. ever picked out for myself because it's just not something I would normally wear. But I feel like I probably will actually start wearing this all the time. Hopefully it keeps me warm today. I'm happy that this outfit actually comes with a jacket. By the way, guys, can we just look at my top for look how cool it is? <laughs> yeah. In a million years would I have thought I'd seen you in like- One of these sorts of jackets. Skinny jeans and jacket like that. What do you guys think? I'm nowhere near done yet. I also got a oh brown belt. Um, I'm not so sure if I like it anymore. You keep on adding more and more. I swear like you've never worn Felt like that before. Like you I wear, don't think you so, wear no. like the, the I've never glittery, worn like, cool a jacket ones, like but... this. I've never worn a belt like this. Still not done yet. I've got oh my her gosh. neck scarf. Oh, this might actually look cool. I'm excited. You're also gonna look like an Alsatian dog. Why? Because they have the little neck scarf. <laughs> yeah, if I put you off it. I'm not wearing it like that. I don't think. Ta-da! Wow. Do I look like Serena? Guess where I am right now? Literally up in the sky. Oh my goodness me. This is not terrifying at all, but I heard someone just say that over there is Brooklyn Bridge and then there's Manhattan Bridge and I can't remember what she said the other one was called. We can literally see all of New York. Like this is crazy. If I didn't say already, I am in the Empire State Building. I'm really actually liking this outfit. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not. However, it is actually getting really hot. It's like really hot up here, um, which is strange because we're actually down low a minute ago. If you can see around the corner, we actually went outside of the building and that bit was really, really scary. This bit has actually been the least scariest of it all. Oh my gosh, me across. I think I can see it. I mean, I see a very big, very grand building right in front of me. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. This crossing is just so aesthetic. <laughs> So Grand Central Station was absolutely beautiful. I did try and record a clip a minute ago and then I think I like didn't press record properly or something. And now I can't really remember what I said. Oh yeah, I told you guys that I got some really cool video clips so I can't wait until I edit them together and hopefully it will look like, you know, I'm like in the actual scene. We just ordered the food. Yeah, we're now gonna be having dinner or lunch or breakfast. I really don't know anymore. Like the time zone chain has confused my body so much. I don't even know what time it is or what meal it is, but I know I'm hungry and I'm very excited for my food. Good morning Mia Corns. As you can see I put hair rollers and socks in my hair so hopefully I have big bouncy waves. Why am I doing this? Because today I'm going to be dressing as Blair once again but doing a completely different look. So for today's outfit I am going to be recreating this dress. I chose this outfit because I thought it was really unique how she paired like a white very like girly dress with her classic patterned tights which you can see I've also got black tights on with this white dress which is something that I never ever would wear but I actually think it looks really cool and it's something like Blair is a fashion icon. She manages to pair things which I didn't think would go together together and it looks amazing and I'm so happy. This dress also kind of reminds me of the other dress she wore in the beginning of season two and I feel like both of these looks are very iconic so this dress is actually from episode two of season one at the brunch so i feel like it's a perfect like blair outfit when she's you know not at school the first time we ever see blair she's in a dress kind of similar style like similar vibes to this but obviously in black um, but that one was too much of like a party outfit for me to recreate this is like her every day but like she's doing something you know it's not complete without a headband so i'm going to be putting this headband on which is also something i would never normally wear so this look is definitely getting me out of my comfort zone. I feel very different and I need to decide which shoes to wear. Like I've got three different options. I reckon I'm probably gonna go with these ones. They're actually Sienna's, like yeah. Sienna. I really wanna be able to wear socks cause I hate wearing like just 
no socks or like, you know, just tights, I feel like they're gonna definitely give me blisters. But if I wear socks, I'll be protected from blisters. So I'm probably gonna go with these so I can wear my black socks and I won't look stupid. This is the full outfit. It's actually really comfy. I was a bit worried about how the shoes were gonna feel because obviously they're Sienna's and I've never worn them. And she told me the other day that they gave her blisters. So I was a bit nervous, but so far, I mean, we haven't, we've done a bit of walking already because this trip has actually been a lot of walking, which is really nice because I do love that about London, how you can walk all around it. And New York is quite a lot like London in that aspect. In a lot of aspects, New York is basically quite similar to London, but also very different because obviously it's all America. We are actually at an ice skating rink. Oh my gosh, how like Christmassy, cool vibes is this? And I am now back in London. Unfortunately, I had the best time in New York and I also really enjoyed the days where I dressed up as the Gossip Girl characters. I have got some really big news coming in my next video. So make sure to stay tuned, click subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.